You need to deploy FlexConnect on your wireless network after watching this video. And I'm going to show you how. Now take a look at this deployment. We have deployed the wireless LAN controller, a switch, an access point and two clients. Now we're going to imagine that all of these components are in different places. For instance, the controller might be at the data center and it is connected to the switch and the switch is located at the headquarter. And we also have an access point that might be located on a different branch. On this type of deployment, you know that the access point establishes a cap wipe tunnel with the controller. And this is required to allow those clients to have access to the network resources. Now, in our case, uh, we're going to use this network, the VLAN 20. So that's where the users will be connected to. Now, in this type of deployment, there is a problem. If for some reason this link is disconnected, those clients they will lose access to the network resources which means that uh, even if the access point is connected to this switch those clients they won't be able to reach any resource uh, here on the switch or at the headquarter now this may be very disrupted for the company so we have to prevent that from happening and the solution for that problem is flex connect now what does flex connect bring to the table well, with Flex Connect, we can tell the switch, look, if something happens between the connectivity that you have with the controller, just don't care, okay? Just keep working, ignore, and just let the client still have access to the network resources. That's essentially what we're going to achieve with Flex Connect, okay? And to demonstrate this, I'm going to use another network. So I'm going to use the network of uh, 30 so i'm going to create actually have created all of these uh the vlan 30 all of these is configured on this switch but first we're going to see how does it work when we have the users connected on vlan 20 that's going to be the normal deployment and later on we're going to start the configuration for flex connect and we're going to also test to see what is going to be the difference uh, when we are using Flex Connect and when we are not using Flex Connect? Okay, this is one of the clients that we saw on the topology. So I'm going to connect to the wireless LAN users network and I'm going to connect to it and type the password. Now, I already have the other clients connected to this network. And you can see we have the IP25 and now this PC has the IP20.6. So I should be able to ping 20.5. So I'm just going to run a continuous ping. Okay. And let it run. Now, as you saw on the topology, we have a link between the controller and the switch using this interface. Okay. So I'm just going to shut down this interface. And then we're going to see what's going to be the result. Okay, so going to G01 and I'm just going to shut the interface. And you can see that immediately uh, this PC can't reach the other clients. Okay, now this is because the access point lost connectivity to the wireless LAN controller. Okay. And this is what we're trying to prevent. So we want to make sure that if the switch or the access point lose connectivity to the access uh, to the controller, the clients shouldn't be affected. OK, so I'm just going to bring this back and let's start configuring uh, those settings for Flex Connect on the wireless LAN controller. OK, this is the wireless LAN controller. And so let's start the configuration. So first we should create a new double line and we go to double line and we're going to add a new one. And I'm just going to name these as double line uh, binary avenue. And the SSID is going to be the same name. And in this case, I want to enable it and disable uh, the radio six because we're not going to use this one just going to apply to device okay so that's the first thing so binary avenue 
now we're going to create uh let's see the policy and here in policy we're going to add a new one and here on name oh that's not what i want so i'm just going to add the name so policy profile binary avenue just going to use the same for description and i'm going to enable this policy profile and here i want to disable central switching I'm just going to confirm this and also i want to disable central dhcp now here on the access policies on vlan we're going to create the vlan or we're going to reference the vlan for those users in this case we're going to use the vlan 30 okay so this vlan doesn't exist on the controller okay and the controller won't be responsible for traffic on this vlan because we want the access point to handle traffic on this vlan okay so i'm going to type 30 and i'm just going to apply to device okay so now i have to associate the wlan and this policy using tags so here on tags we're going to add a new policy tag and we're going to name these as let's see policy tag i'm just going to replace that copy and paste and i'm going to add the double line profile so i'm going to select the new profile and also the policy profile we just created so that should be the one just going to confirm this okay so that's the first step so we created uh double line the policy profile and now we just created a new policy tag now the next step is to create the flex profile so we go to configuration here on flex and we're going to create a new flex profile i'm just going to paste the name and i'm going to change this to flex profile and i'm going to copy and paste this here now here is very important that you pay attention to this the native vlan id in my case the management vlan is vlan 10 okay now depending on your scenario this should be the vlan id that you're using for managing the access point next we're going to this tab vlan okay and we're going to add a new vlan now this profile will be assigned to the access point which means that the vlan will be created on the access point so if we take a look here it doesn't exist again so we're going to just type 30 as the name and vlan id 30 as well okay we're going to save this and we're going to apply to device okay so now let's go to tags is going to create a new site tag okay we're going to add a new one and let's see i'm just going to change this to site tag and i'm going to paste here and now we have to reference the flex profile we just created but it doesn't show so first we have to disable this option enable local site okay so once i disable this we have here a new option flex profile now we're going to select the flex profile we just created and we're going to apply to device now we're going to assign these new tags to the access point and to do that we go to configuration access point and we're going to select our access point okay just going to select and right now the access point is running as in local mode okay so first we're going to change the policy tag okay we're going to select the new one just created and also the site tag the one we just created and once we apply this to the device the access point is going to reboot and this might take a couple of seconds or at the minimum one minute and once the access point uh, reboot now it's going to be running in flex connect mode okay and the access point is back so now if we take a look at the configuration now we see that the ap mode is flex okay and we can also take a look at the configuration we just added 
so these are the tags we created so and this is the new ssid that we're going to see uh, when we try to connect using the clients okay to make this test easier uh, there is one thing that we can change so if we go back to let's see i believe it's double line and double line binary security so let's change from 802.1x and we're going to enable pre-share key okay and i'm going to type the password that i want my clients to use okay now let's go to one of the clients and try to connect to this new network so you should see the land binary avenue so let's try to connect to it no and we can see that we have two new clients so let's confirm the ip so this is the 32 and the other one should be 31 so if i send continue speaking to 30.1 okay it's working so now i'm going to shut down the link between the switch and the controller again and let's see what's going to be the result Okay, and the interface is down and we don't see any ping being dropped between the two clients. And this essentially means that even though the controller is offline, the access point is handling the traffic between those clients. Okay, and that's the benefit of deploying FlexConnect. Now, if you found this video valuable, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and I'll see you on the next one.